Hello guys, welcome to another edition of Kaolo GC Revision. And today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to study with Kaolo part two. And we are going to focus on downloading past questions, accessing past questions and studying with them, both on Kaolo and the website gcrevision.com. Firstly, I know that you have your Kaolo application installed in your device. If you don't know how to install Kaolo application on your Android phone, you can look at the past videos on how to install Kaolo application. If you have your Kaolo application installed inside your Android phone, simply launch your Kaolo application. Launch your Kaolo application under uh, this video or this accessing of past questions. You must not require uh, subscription that you don't you must not require having an account created right you can access the past questions with an account or without an account but it's best that you have an account created because most of the questions are going to be downloaded some of you had a complaint that you were not you did not have access to your downloaded questions and other things which required yet which required you to create an account now, I can see I have already my account created, which I am logged in. The first thing I'm going to do is click on papers. So you tap on papers at the bottom. So here, is, here are papers, you tap on papers. And I'm going to go straight away to Cameroon. I, I'll start with GC Ordinary Level. Once you click on Cameroon, you have various um, levels which are being displayed to you, ordinary level, advanced level, technical and commercial. So I'm going to enter GC ordinary level. And on it, you have two different um, two different menus that you have past questions or past papers and then downloaded papers. So these are the two options that are provided to you. I'll simply hit on past papers. On past papers, now I have the various subjects which have been listed out. And uh, on these various subjects, I said simply search on the subject which I'm looking for. If I thought I'm offering ordinary level, I will look for computer science. Say computer science. And once you hit on any of the subjects, you have the different years and the different papers which are being presented to you together with lesson notes on these various uh, on these various subjects. So I am going to just select a year. Let's say I want to access the Southwest Mock 2021 Computer Science Paper 2. I will simply hit it. And once you hit it, they, it downloads automatically in your phone, right? So that loading, it means it's downloading in your phone. But take note that you can't have access to this past question, right? That's printing it offline. And you cannot open it with any other... Uh, we can open you any other software apart from Carol, right? So I'm going to explain it to you in detail what it's all about. So you can simply resize it. You can resize it depending on your vision. If it's that I want it to be big, I resize it to be big. So now I can have a view of it, which I can study with it the way I want, right? The next thing is... I'll simply go to where I have downloaded papers. Now, on this section of downloaded papers, it simply displays all the papers which I've once accessed with internet connection. That is, once I click on any past question or any paper and it says downloading, it downloads and it's been saved in your phone, right? But you can open it only with Kaolo. And in this section, I can now access my past question without internet connection. So if I logged out and I'm not having internet connection and I want to study with a past question which I've downloaded earlier or which I've opened earlier, I simply come to this place and I see all my questions which I've downloaded. I can equally delete them, right? I can equally clear the content of all of these. As you can see, I'm clearing my cache content. So all my papers which I've downloaded, I clear them, right? So it's not a must that you have to clear these questions. You can still leave it there, but it won't do it won't cause any harm to the application. Next, I'm going to just access another question that is additional maths. As you hit on the subject, you have the various papers which have been displayed to you. So I'm going to take 
Additional Mathematics Ordinary Level 2023 Northwest Regional Mock Additional Mathematics Paper 1. So I'll hit on it and it downloads again automatically. It downloads automatically inside your device, right? So if I go to downloaded papers, I will have this question downloaded in such a way that if I don't have internet connection on my device, I will still be able to access it just with the application Kaolo. And now these questions which have been downloaded inside your phone, you cannot have access to it on a different software application or on a PDF application for you to print. So if you want to print or you want to download any past question for printing, I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to do that, which you are going to access the website, GC Revision, Cameroon GC Revision .com. So I'm going to leave this. Okay, next I'm going to do that with advanced level as well. So I'll go back and I'll hit on GC advanced level. Still, I have the same um, the same options. I have past papers and downloaded papers. So it performs the same, the same tax. Like if I hit on any subject, I go to any paper, computer science. Let me choose a different subject. Not computer science. I will take this time around. Um, geography. Let me take geography. With geography, as I hit on geography, I have the various options which are being displayed to me. And on it, I will look at what I really want to access. That's Advanced Level 2023 Northwest Regional Mock Geography Paper 3. So I hit it and it does the same thing. That's downloading automatically inside your device, which I can now have access to it. At any time, I can resize this, increasing the size, and I have access to my question. And remember, once I have access to it, I will throw. So as I have access to it, I come to downloaded papers, and there we go. I have advanced level 2023 Northwest Regional Mock Geography Paper 3. So that is all about accessing past questions on Kaolo application. Remember, these questions you cannot print them, right? So once you just download it inside your device, you can have access just with the Kaolo application without internet connection, right? So if I come one day and I don't have my internet connection, I can just simply go to downloaded papers or I see go to that same page and any paper which I click and it opens, it means that paper has been downloaded. So next is accessing these past questions on the application no, on the website that is downloading and actually printing it. So depending on the browser which you have, so the, now I'm going to be doing a demonstration with Chrome after I'll do another demonstration with Safari, right? So I'll launch my Chrome on my Android phone. If it's that is on your PC, it's good and fine. So on it, I will simply search for the gcrevision.com website so I can put maybe on Google. I go to Google and uh, on the search bar of Google, I will search gcrevision.com, gcrevision.com. Then I search. Then now the, you have the options which have been displayed to me. So I have gcrevision.com as the first option. I will select it. So once I select it, the first thing, let's say I want to access these past questions. So I simply scroll down at the middle of the page. I have Cameroon GCE, I have Zambia and the different countries. I'll select Cameroon GCE. It loads. Then the page which is being displayed to me, I have notes, past questions and syllabus. So I'll select past questions. And I have asked which comes, just you simply need to just close it. Then I have the Cameroon GC ordinary level subjects, right? So it starts with ordinary level subjects at a certain level. And then you have advanced level subjects, right? So I have all of that. If you don't see the subject, you scroll and you read, or you go to the next page, which you have other subjects that are being displayed, right? So I simply select the subject which I wish to access. Let me go back up. Let's say I want to select advanced level economics. This economics, I'll take view all papers. 
And now I have the economics page, which has been displayed. Now on this page that is being displayed, you have various papers which are in blue buttons like this, and you have others which are not in blue buttons. The ones which are in blue buttons are the ones which are available. So if you see any um, labeling that it's not inside a blue button, just know that this paper is not available. We are still to upload that in a while, right? So I'll simply select maybe the Northwest mock what is recently posted as 2023, Northwest mock paper one, two, three, I'll simply select paper one. I click on paper one and then it page loads the Northwest mock economic paper one. It opens and I simply scroll down below it. I have the PDF, which is loading. And that is what I'm interested in. The PDF that is loading, right? So here you can say download this question in your application. And if you click there, it sends you automatically to Tableau application, right? So I have my PDF, which is loading, and I will simply wait for the PDF to load. And there is good. There we go. We have the PDF, which has been loaded. So I can simply revise with this question here, or if I want to download this question and print it, maybe enter my device or send to someone, I'll see on this PDF, which has been loaded, right? At the top, at the top right corner of it, let's say this is my PDF. I can scroll and make sure that this is the PDF which I want. I make sure that this is the PDF which I want. So while scrolling up, I realize that at the top um, right corner of this, of this PDF which has been loaded, I have this little square button or this little square um, icon which displays, right? as it comes up when I'm scrolling up, right? So if you don't see, you can see hit on this place and it's going to send to a different page. So as you can see, as I scroll up, I have it there, right? So I hit on it, it sends me to another page which opens the paper itself, right? As it opens the paper itself, now this gives me the opportunity to download this past question, right? I can download this past question or I can save it inside my drive, my Google Drive. So that I can use it at any time and I can print it as well. This little icon simply means to print automatically. I, I can print it automatically. Now, if you want to download it, you simply hit on the second icon, which is just beside the print, right? Immediately after the print, I have the second icon. I will hit on it and you see automatically it's going to download inside my device. As you can see, I have Northwest mock economics 2023 which is downloading and now it has finished downloading i can now open it as these are my downloaded files i can now open it with any pdf reader which i want you can still open it with your with your browser if you want so i'll see, take back another process that's downloading another past question let me go to ordinary level um let me hit back I'll take another an ordinary level question and download this here on this page. I have let's say I think mathematics. I'll say view all papers and I wait for the page to open. So this is the mathematics page which has been opened. So I have June 2022 and various questions with the blue buttons which are available and the ones that are not available. So I'm going to take the one which is a little bit recent. Let's say June 22, paper two. I'll hit on it. So as it's blue, it shows that it's available. So I'll hit on it and the question paper opens. So as the question paper opens, I scroll down and I wait for my PDF to load. So if your PDF doesn't load, make sure you can hit it back and select the paper again, time and again, until your PDF opens. So depending on your connection, your PDF can take a while to load, right? So it might take a while to load. You just need to be patient while it's, it's loading. As you can see here, it's, it's still loading. Simply cancel all these tabs. And I think it should be okay.
Okay, now you have your Math Paper 2, which has been downloaded. It has loaded and it's in front of me. I have Math Paper 2. Remember, once you scroll down, you take your paper, you make sure that everything is being loaded. And while going up, you realize that I have this my little button that comes up again, right? I'm going up, I have this my little icon. So I'll click on it. It takes me to another page, which is the Google document page, right? On it, I can sign in and save it inside my Google document, or I can print it directly from here, or I can download it inside my device and open with another PDF reader, right? So I'll simply hit on download. I'll hit on download. And there we go, it downloads automatically. So as you can see, all in level 2022 mathematics PDF download complete. So that is it guys, how to download past questions from gcrevision.com and also from Kaolo application. Okay guys, I hope this video was interesting and I hope you loved it and it was also helpful to you. So please subscribe to this our channel for more videos. You hit the notification button and make sure you like this video and equally share to other users. It might help them too in the nearest future. So watch out for our next videos and don't forget to comment.